Hello, Bay Broncos. Today is Friday, November 15th, 2019, and today I'm going to read a book called Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes, but before that, hey everybody, it was a great week. It's great to be a Bronco. Um, on Wednesday, we had a fire drill, and it only took us two minutes to clear the building, so good job, everybody. We've got to keep ourselves safe. Uh, we had the PTA meeting this week, which was great. We had a good turnout. Next week, very exciting. On Wednesday, we have Science Night. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. in the cafeteria, and the Lawrence Hall of Science is actually coming and setting up stations, and it's a mystery. And you have to do chemistry to solve the mystery. A big thank you to the PTA for organizing this, because it sounds really fun. I'm excited to go. And then on Thursday, our superintendent, Dr. Camp, will be visiting our Bay campus. So if you see him, be sure to say hello. He is lovely. And a special message for this week. Hey, everybody. Be kind to each other. The holidays are fun, the holidays are coming up, um, vacations are coming up, and they can be fun, but they can also be stressful. So what I'm asking is that we all just kind of take a step back and remember to be kind to one another. We are a family here at Bay, um, and it brings me joy. I love coming here every single day, and so I want everyone else to feel that way too. So thank you for your time, and now I have a book. Here's the thing, I'm a grown up and I still like Pete the Cat. So if you think you're too old for Pete the Cat, you're not because I am probably older than you are. So Pete the Cat, I love my white shoes. Created and illustrated by James Dean and the story is by Eric Litwin. Look at all the shoes hanging up. Pete the Cat, I love my white shoes. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I like books that make me sing. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Look, he even has a heart when he thinks about them. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did his shoes turn? Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything's cool. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did his shoes turn? Oh, what color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. His feet are really big for a cat. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? I think you know. Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Coffee. I love coffee. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song, rock and roll. What do you think he sings now? I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step on, step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. That's a great book. I like a book with a song in it. I like a book with a repeating pattern. Uh, TK classes may know what my favorite song is. It starts with a P and ends with an Itza. It's that song. Um, have a wonderful weekend. 
I look forward to seeing you on Monday and today and every day. It's great to be a Bronco. Bye.